It's time for Ryan's Roses. 102.7 Kiss FM. Dear Ryan, I've noticed a huge change in my husband. When he's home, we don't even talk to each other anymore. None of this feels right. And then I found a phone number, and I don't know what to think. Mm, Ashley in Corona writes this. So let's get her on. Ashley, how are you this morning? Hey, good morning. How are you? Doing okay. So... Tell me more about these signs you're seeing from your husband. Um, a little while ago, uh, he started acting distant, um, not engaged, not engaged with the kids, not really communicating with me. Like, I can tell that he's trying, but there really isn't much information coming. And then for a while, he was, like, glued to his phone. He would not put it down. And then a couple weeks ago, he started hiding it in places like I would find it in random drawers in the kitchen, the bathroom drawer underneath his pillow in our bedroom. His phone? Well, yeah. What was he hiding? His phone, yeah. I, I don't know. I have no idea, but uh, well, his, his physical phone was in the drawers and with the ringer yeah, off weird. and it's super weird, just like from one extreme to the other. And then, you know, this has me all worried. And then the other day I was cleaning, um, the bedroom and I went to the, the night table and I was just kind of organizing and I found this piece of paper on it, kind of like just a ripped tiny piece of paper with a name and a phone number and nothing else. And ever since then, I've just been, it's been in my head, you know, that he might be cheating on me with this person whose number this is, you know, like, did you call know, the that, number? No, I haven't. I haven't called the number. I, I didn't look into it too much. I put it back in. I try to get it out of my head, you know, like thinking my husband would never do that. Yeah. But, you know, a week later, it's still in my head. It's still. Well, what was the name on the paper? Claire. Claire. Claire, yeah. All right. Hold on one second. We're going to come back and see if we can find out. Call your husband. We're in the middle of it. Ryan's roses. So Ashley's about to have us call her husband. Tanya, this is on you. Right. We want to find out who he sends the roses to, who's top of mind, and what's going on, okay? So, Ashley, I need you to say, Ryan, you have my permission to call, and then his name on Kiss FM. All right. Uh, Ryan, you have my permission to call my husband on Kiss FM. Okay, here we go. Hello. Hi, good morning. Is this Mark? Uh, yeah, this is Mark. Hi, my name is Ruby. I'm calling from Ruby's Roses and More. We're a new flower shop here in Corona, right right, right next to, you know, Taylor Avenue. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Um, so I actually am just calling to offer you a free dozen roses today. Uh, they are totally free. I don't need any information from you. Just the name of who you want to send them to and a note and the address and I'll get them out by noon today. Uh, I mean, that that sounds pretty great, but honestly, if this is a scam, I, I just don't have the time or the energy right now. So I, I can't, I don't have any, I don't have any money for, for you to take if, if that's how this ends up going. I promise you, Mark, this is not a scam. No, I know this isn't a scam. I promise. I really, I don't, I don't even need a credit card or any information about a credit card. Just a name of who you want to send them to, a note and an address, and I will get them out by noon. I just, if you just could refer me to any friends or family that you have, I would just really appreciate that. Um, I promise this isn't a scam. I know this. I I promise. (laughs) Okay. Yeah. I mean, as long as you don't need any financial information that, that sounds cool i mean that'd be no, great sure. nothing okay great okay, so cool. let's start out with um the note who do you want to send them to uh let's send them to my wife ashley a-s-h-l-e-y okay and what do you want to put on the note um how about um always on my mind that's sweet that is sweet i'm sorry it's ryan seacrest your voice is being broadcast on the radio uh Ashley is on the phone as well. Ashley? Okay. Hey, babe. 
Hi. Uh, so, yeah, why don't you tell him why we're all together, Ashley? Um, well, I've just been concerned. Um, babe, like, you haven't been yourself lately. You've been so distant. Your behavior's been off. And the other day I found a note in your in your nightstand and it just got me worried that there may be somebody else in your life. Um, and so I called and I arranged for this, uh, I arranged for this to, to happen to see if there was somebody else you would send the roses to. And, um, she was relieved that you sent them to me. I'm not gonna lie, but I'm still very worried. Okay. About like, about what's uh, going on. Wow, this is this is the, um, the direction you wanted to take. We're on the radio. Uh, this is not uh, ideal. I, I I think it would be cool to maybe talk with you, not in front of people, or I don't know. This just feels a little. No, we're fine. We're comfortable. <laughs> I mean, look, look. Like, bottom line is, I'm not cheating, babe. I it's it's uh, it's so not the case. It's not even close. All right. You can trust that. Okay, so I think, Ashley, we, we've done what we can. It sounds like you guys uh, are okay, right? I mean, I, I got to know, like, who is Claire? Who, who is the, the, the person that... Claire. I found a piece of paper in your nightstand. The name was Claire oh, and the phone number. Who... You know what I mean? Like, that's Ashley, a suspect. Ashley, that's a... That's a uh, <laughs> That's a number to a therapist that that uh, that my buddy gave me, and uh, I forgot all about it. I, I probably should have gone, but that's um, look. I uh, I am um, I'm not cheating, but I am. I guess uh, I'm struggling a little bit. I don't know. I feel I feel like I'm kind of um, not. I don't know. Living up to to things right now. My job isn't great, as you know. Um, my my birthday hit me pretty hard. The kids are getting older and more independent. And I don't know, I just feel kind of like a, a loser lately. So I, I just sort of feel down, I guess. I'm sorry if I've been distant, honestly. That's, that's what Claire, Claire was to talk about some of that stuff with. <laughs> so that's it. I mean, that's a relief. I'm not going to lie, that's a relief. But at the same time, like, we're a unit. We have to talk about these things when you're, struggling when you're, you know, down on yourself, like you, you don't have to carry that weight alone, you know, like we're a partnership and you should never, ever suffer in silence. Like I've been there and, and you didn't want me to do that. Like, so. No, I know, you know but I, me... I support, supported you guys. I want to give you guys the best life, you know, and I just feel like I'm kind of like everyone else is, is doing great and I'm sort of not. But you do give us the best life. Like besides this, this this funk that you're in right now, you provide such a wonderful life for us. You're you're an amazing father. You're an amazing husband. You know, like I just I don't want you to feel like you have to go through this alone. And I want you to talk to me. I'm your wife. Like I want to be there. I want to hear what's going through your mind, and I want to help you get through it. Help you find a new job if that's what you want. You know, su support you and be your other half, but you can't push me out and act weird and not engage with the kids. And, you know, like that is concerning to me still, even though I'm relieved that you sent me the flowers. Like I'm still worried about how you've shut me out when it comes to where you're at mentally right now. I feel like I should, I should know what's going on with you and you should know what's going on with me. Yeah. I don't know. I just didn't want to put it on you, but I, that, it's true. That's how, that's how it should be. Well, I have enjoyed this therapy session, but we're going to let you guys go talk about this offline um, because sure. it sounds like it's yeah. getting in-depth. Uh, and good luck. Thank you for reaching out, Ashley. Thank you, guys. I appreciate your help. All right. I literally thought we were on the, like, a fly on the wall we were, in their therapy session. Th that was a therapy session. Let's take Alexis. Now, Alexis heard Ryan's Rose a few minutes ago, and she's in New York. Alexis, good morning. Good morning. What did you think of that call? 
I feel like this kind of isn't something we've dealt with on roses before. Like, right. And I feel like, you know, if a husband is acting weird like that, especially in this day and age, like in these weird times, we should like not be so quick to jump to conclusions, you know? Maybe we I, should just give him the benefit of the doubt. I agree. I totally agree. But the problem is human nature is you jump to the worst conclusion. That's what you do. That's right. what we do. Right. That's what mm-hmm. we create. Um, yep. And it's easier said than done, right? Than to say, don't jump to conclusions. But then when you're in the heat of the moment, you jump to conclusions. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, Take then, a breath and wait a minute. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, I mean, she did say it best that you need to communicate. They need to communicate. And I think that's really important. Mm-hmm. True. All right. Well, thank you for calling, Alexis. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.